Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 bringing to you some very sad news from the world of movies where it was announced on Saturday, October 31st, 2020 that legendary actor Sean Connery has indeed passed away at the age of 90 years old. And this news comes as a very sad moment in history because Sean Connery, in my opinion, is one of the most highly respected, most iconic and decorated actors of all time. He's been around for like forever. He's been a staple part of not just my life, but my mum and dad's life, my grandparents, my entire family and everybody else's for that matter. And to hear the news that he's no longer with us is a real shame, but at the same time he's got nothing to be ashamed of because he's had one of the most iconic and greatest careers you could ever ask or hope for and he's appeared in so many movies and his catalogue of films reads like an encyclopedia of movies he was in films such as Marnie, The Hill, Murder on the Orient Express, The Man Who Would Be King, A Bridge Too Far, Highlander, The Name of the Rose, The Untouchables, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade the Hunt for Red October, Dragonheart, The Rock, and Finding Forrester, you know, you name it, The Avengers, not Marvel's Avengers, Emma Peel and John Steed Avengers, and you name it, he's done it all really, and he's had Academy Awards, two BAFTA Awards, including the BAFTA Fellowship, three Golden Globes, he was knighted in the 2000 New Year Honours for services to films, and you name it, he's done it all, but I think I speak for everyone when I say this, that Sean Connery will forever be remembered as, of course, 007 James Bond, and in my opinion he is the definitive James Bond. When I think of James Bond, all due respect to all of the other guys who have played him over the years, the late great Sir Roger Moore, Pierce Brosnan, and currently at the moment Daniel Craig, but when I think of James Bond, I think of Sean Connery. Not just because he was the first one, but he made such a huge impression and he brought so much suave sophistication and class to the character that anybody who came after had some really big shoes to fill and Sean Connery as James Bond was the yardstick for all future 007 actors were measured against and the first James Bond film I ever saw was with Sean Connery and that was of course Goldfinger from 1964 and I'll never forget the first time I ever saw it how well made it was how epic it was everything about Goldfinger was just classic and it had so many iconic moments and featured so many memorable characters who had become staple parts of Bond history characters such as Goldfinger of course Odd Job and Pussy Galore played wonderfully by the late great Honor Blackman who we also lost not that long ago and it's just got everything you want to make a classic James Bond movie and the two scenes that will always stand out to me was the first one when James Bond walked into the room and he sees the body of the lady laying there dead covered and sprayed in gold paint that really spoke a lot of volumes to me and of course the other scene which gets talked about has been made parodies of, it's been referenced in all forms of media and pop culture and that is of course when James Bond was laying down, strapped down on the table with the laser piercing through the woods between his legs and James Bond says that classic line to Goldfinger do you expect me to talk? and Goldfinger responds back by saying no Mr Bond, I expect you to die and such a classic moment in not just that movie but in movie history it's an absolute classic Sean Connery starred in the first five Bond films 
1962, Doctor No in 1962, From Russia with Love in 1963, Goldfinger of course in 1964, Thunderball in 1965, You Only Live Twice in 1967, then he appeared again in Diamonds Are Forever in 1971 and he made his return to the role in 1983 in Never Say Never Again, bringing all films a total of seven films which were very commercially successful and Sean Connery was selected as the third greatest hero in cinema history by the American Film Institute and what I liked about Sean Connery as James Bond he was the whole package he had the great look height everything class sophistication suaveness and I never forget that classic line that it gets used in every James Bond film you just can't have this line in a James Bond movie when he says the name's Bond James Bond it's a classic line and it's used in every James Bond movie and like I said at the beginning all due respect to your Pierce Brosnan's Sir Roger Moore and of course Daniel Craig but Sean Connery is the man he's my James Bond and you know certain actors are just born to be those characters you know when I think of Wolverine I think of Hugh Jackman when I think of Iron Man I think of Robert Downey Jr when I think of Batman depending on who you ask I mean Michael Keaton is my Batman but the measuring stick for Batman is of course Adam West it's just there's a certain small group of people who are just born to be that character when I think of Superman I think of Christopher Reeve all due respect to lovey Gal Gadot but when I think of Wonder Woman I think of Linda Carter they're just a small select group of people who are just not born to be that character but they were just born to play that character and Sean Connery is no exception he was born to play James Bond and in my opinion he will always be James Bond and what can I really say really as sad as I am that Sean Connery is no longer with us he will forever be in wretched and embedded in the 007 franchise and whoever comes along next after Daniel Craig they've got some pretty big shoes to fill because Sean Connery like I said he's the man and there will never be another like him he is quite possibly the most iconic James Bond that's ever lived so I'm going to wrap this up now but before I go I just want to say one final thing thank you Sean Connery for many years of great movies and iconic moments but most important of all thank you for all of the classic James Bond movies that you gave us they will forever be remembered as the greatest movies of all time and in my opinion and I speak for everybody else you will forever be remembered as the one and only true 007 and remember the name everybody the name's Bond James Bond and lastly I'll have a dry vodka martini shaken not stirred thank you Sean Connery and may you forever rest in peace 